Okay, you're supposed to be remodeling the front entrance to your home, and it needs to cut an arch for the top of the entranceway. The arch needs to be 32 feet wide and 8 feet high. To draw the arch, you must use a stretch string with chalk attached to the end of a compass. So, for some reason, you're building a door that's 32 feet wide. That's ridiculous, but that's just what they give, because you're trying to build this archway here. Okay? So if you're going to build an archway, what you do is use a compass. Okay, so uh, I'll show you what, what I mean by that. It is um, just like a compass like you use in, in school. I've got a safety compass. But if if you want the archway, let's say you... We're going to put this on the XY coordinate plane so we know what we're doing here. But if you were in real life, and you could still do this, you come over here and you pick some spot... Now let's just say this spot right here, and then use a piece of string. In this case, I'm not using string, I'm using this, but it, it, a string would work just the same. And you're going to make an archway. See that nice pretty arch? Well, basically what you're doing is you're draw, just drawing a piece of a circle is really what you're doing. Alright, that's all you're really doing. And if it's 32 feet wide, that means this distance and this distance is the same. So this over here would be 16 feet, right? 16 feet this way and 16 feet this way. But as points, since I put it on the XY coordinate plane as points, then uh, this would be what uh, over 16, up and down none, and this would be back 16, up and down none. And then the arch has to be eight feet tall, so that's eight feet. This is eight feet right here. But as a point, it would be 0, 0,8. All right, but you know those distances, and then you. The other part is is the string, and it it would be the radius of the circle, right? It would be the radius of the circle, and that's that's where they're getting that picture from, right here. All right, and what you need to find is the locate the center of the circle, and then what would the uh, radius be? That's what you need to find. So, what would the center be right here? And you almost know that you know that this is eight. But you don't know this. You don't know this right here. This distance, which is what you need the whole way, right? The radius is the whole way. So this and this is the same distance. Right? Let, me, let me highlight that so you make sure what I'm talking about. This rate. This is the radius, and this is also the radius. Those are both the same values. So, thing is, I know the radius is at least eight feet, but I don't know what. The I don't know what this other piece is right here. So the thing that jumps out at me is that I have a right triangle. That always jumps out at me when I have a right triangle because I know a few things about right triangles. I know that in a right triangle, uh, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c is the hypotenuse. Remember Pythagorean's theorem? Sure you do. So here, this radius would be the... Uh, c squared, right? It's the radius. That's your hypotenuse. You know this side is 16. You don't know this side. So, I don't know that side, but I do know... Let's, let's think about this for a second, though. The whole radius here is 8 plus this unknown value. So instead of a, instead of a uh, question mark... Instead of the question mark, I'm going to put an x there. So I really don't know this value, so we'll put an X there. I know that side over there is 16. Well, check this out. This whole side here would be 8 plus X. So this is the same as this. So this side over here is actually 8 plus X. Right? This radius is the same as this radius. And this radius here is 8 feet plus X many feet. We don't know what that is. So it's 8 plus X. And that's where the key of the problem lies. So now I can actually solve for x here because a squared plus b squared equals, <coughs> excuse me, equals c squared. So x squared plus 16 squared equals hypotenuse squared. All right, that'd be x squared plus what is 16 squared? 256. And then 8 plus. All right, let's multiply this out. A 
8 times a to 64. 8 times x is 8x. x times 8 is 8x. And x times x is x squared. All right, now, let's see. Uh, we'd have x squared plus 256 equals 64 plus 16x plus x squared. Okay, so let's solve for x here. That's all we got is x's. Um, well, if I subtract x squared from this side and I subtract x squared from that side, it would cancel. So you're left with 256 equals 64 plus 16x. If I subtract off the 64, uh, let's see, what is, just to make sure, 256 minus 64, let me get my calculator going here. Two fifty six minus sixty four hundred ninety two equals sixteen x. Now we we'll divide by sixteen. So divide by sixteen. Divided by sixteen. Twelve. I should have known that without a calculator. X is twelve. So what does that mean? It means that this length right here is twelve. So that means the radius is 8 plus 12, which is 20. The radius here is 20. So now, here's what we need to do. It asks for coordinate, uh, locate the center of the circle using the coordinates well. This right here would be 0, 0. That means we got to go, if this is 12 from here to here, then that coordinate right there would be negative tw uh, 0, negative 12. Then, what's the radius? What radius should the person use to draw the arch? 20. All right, so our center is at 0, negative 12, and the radius was 20. And there you go.